if anyone's a fan of the uh, the original Italian job film, uh, we we go past the very famous scene with the gold hanging in the bus where they're trying to reach the goal and it's on a it's on a on an edge. Um, we ride past that today where that was filmed. Do you think you'll have a bit of time to go and have a little look at it? I don't reckon no. I'll try and get the guys to slow down a bit. Like, can we just, you know, a bit of a tourist style today? But I'm not sure. Logistics was never my strong point, and I've got a lot of kit to sort out this morning. But I'm hoping I get there. What I, happens I, if you don't? I don't. I've got to freeze my tits off. In the ground we bury the seeds of a pen. Writing my memoirs. Every day I'm writing the exact same thing, deja vu. That's <laughs> pretty much what happens on the Grand Tour. The boys rode really well at the front, so yeah, it's up to uh, it's up to the jockeys now, mate. It's not up to me. May I have this dance? G D DJ, JJ, I'm like a bag of Dragon Balls. Just makes everybody happy. It's gonna be another solid day in the mountain. Well, not another, we haven't had many, but uh, the first of many, I think. And uh, people are pretty motivated. It's pretty, Easy to get motivated when you have a guy like Matthew White tickling our fancy. Did White just tickle your fancy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would put it in that term, but yeah, it's a big day and super excited. That might stop quite quickly on the climb, but for now I'm excited. <laughs> Today, well, it's uh, we've been waiting for this day for a long time. Not in my lifetime have we had to wait this long for one, uh, but uh, it's been well worth the wait. And uh, look, Roderick's uh, in a very good position at the moment. I think he's uh, going to get put under a hell of a lot of pressure from teams like ourselves and others. Expect to see a lot of attacking. Big break going early with uh, teammates. Set us and uh, other teams up for the final. Body yard, that's my life. Free eights, kilometer zero till uh, climbing RS rides away from me. No one knows me like the piano in my mother's home. But uh, Esteban's dropped, it looks like Yates is not super. Mikel, the first bloke, the first rider behind you is 108, is Lander. Lander is 108, the others at two minutes. And in my chest, you know me best. And you know I Yeah, really, really hard from the beginning for the break. Uh, also in the back, they were all day quite close from the breakaway. Uh, I didn't know if we we would have a a chance for for the win. And yeah, in the final, yeah, hard. No, uh, when you see as close, I dropped two guys to go. So yeah, uh, it's not easy, but okay. Yeah, now recover. Uh, we will try again tomorrow, and yeah, we'll see. Come on, Yatesy, this is the last hard bit here. Lopez. Stick with your rhythm, your rhythm, man. Is inside. I kept the feelings close. Look, things went from very good to uh, to struggle town uh, in a very short period of time. Haven't spoken to the boys yet, that, but. Uh, Look, it is what it is. Uh, the Giro's far from over. Uh, we're just going to have to reassess when we uh, get some more details and uh, think ahead for tomorrow and the next time. Obviously, we'd rather not lose time, but for Simon, to, he obviously was riding his pace from the bottom. And to, to only lose not big, big chunks of time and uh, find his room for the climb shows that he's, he's moving in the right direction. Tomorrow is probably a day that suits me more in terms of kilometres. Six hours is a bit too much for my young legs. Yeah, it's definitely the biggest climbing stage I've done, I reckon. Oh yeah, 100%. Hence, 190 GK with Bergs. Ah. Look, Lucas did an incredible ride supporting Simon, and Mikel was oh so close to winning a stage in the Giro. So, look, it's, things aren't all bad. Uh, it's racing, and uh, we've got to move on. Sometimes you come back to the front of that small group. I was like, he's still here. <laughs> so surprised. I was when you, you, know, you know why I, you, you know why I hung on? Because uh, Lucas and I made a bet before I left, or before we left for the stage, that if I'm there with 15k to go, 
He'll shave his filthy beard. That bet is untrue and there's no way I'm going to shave the cat whiskers. Three. I watched one after dinner and one this morning at six o'clock. So... <laughs> I'm just gonna get back to it now. I hope there'll be some left for us later today. No, these are these are the private stash, mate. Polka! These are private, these are presents from someone. I'm not a sweet tooth man, but I've got into this. <laughs> <laughs>